How's it going, boys? So today we're doing perfect proliferation. Oh yes, we have made proliferation decks previously, but the downside of that uh, those decks was pretty much that you know getting one one on everything was relatively complicated and convoluted. But now we have the Great Hinge, aka it fixes the draw problem and putting one one counters on anything. Well. Putting 1-1 one, one counters on everything wasn't exactly the most specifically complicated part of life, but hey, it was a little bit annoying. But now, the biggest annoyance is getting the Great Henge out. And for that, we have a multitude of things. First of all, we have the pretty much standard-based lame pa uh, Paradiso Druids. They're diverse, they're diverse situation, but honestly, they're pretty reasonable. But this is where the actual combos come into. Grateful Operation... Turn 2, and then Knight of Autumn, turn 3, because this is 4 damage, after the Grateful Operation hits, it's 5. So that instantaneously makes it that you can drop the Great Henge on turn 4. Essentially a lot of things here allow us to drop the Great, uh, the great Henge on turn 4, and that's pretty goddamn powerful, oh yes. But anyway, we have 4 Grateful Apparations, 4 Incubation Druids, 4 Gift, uh, four gift of Paradiso Druids, 4 p Pollen Bride something something Druids, aka they're here to just uh, buff up the Incubation Druid with a 1-1 one, one counter so it gives 3 mana. Oh yes, that's also a stratagem. Unbreakable Formation, because I'm, I, we don't exactly need healing per se in this deck, while it is useful and you can substitute it pretty much uh, with... Why isn't it showing up? It is a sorcery, isn't it? Oh no, it's an instant. It doesn't matter if it's an instant or sorcery. Pledge of Unity... I'd rather, uh, I'd, I'd rather, uh, I, I, I rather much have uh, the ability to protect my things time to time. So we're using Unbreakable Formation and Pledge of Unity. Because it honestly doesn't matter that this is plus one, one by default, what, no matter what you do, and Pledge Unity is only the addendum part, it, it, that does not matter. Again, that, that pretty much never matters. But protecting your things from a wipe does matter. In my opinion, a lot more. Two Looming Shamans, four Knights of Autumn, four Beast Whispers, three Ajani, Furies, and four Great Henges. And just random three Idolic Glare, uh, Glance, whatever. It, 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 it's, it's something pre-ugly art. And four Fable Passages. Many four lands to be specific, nothing really too special. But the thing with this deck is, as all great henge decks that I have created, when it gets going, boys, does it keep going. Oh yes, that is like the big thing. Admittedly, this deck does have a weakness. It's flying decks. So whenever you're versing flying decks, pretty much just, eh, if they have too great of a start, just surrender. In average, there's no life gain that you will gain that will out outperform it. And so on and so on and so on. So if that happens, you know, you just, 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 you know, give it a rest. Okay, so we have, we have a chance for five mana at start, and then we can get, uh, well, it's a fourth, uh, four, uh, turn four great hinge, but honestly, a turn four great hinge is a better than a turn five, six, seven, eight great, great hinge. And this is what this deck is all about. So, anyway, boys, if you have managed to struggle with us so far, that means you're a dedicated person who is no, without any single shred of, oh, shit. Oh, no, oh, Jesus, wait, what? Oh, oh, I, I, I almost had a minor heart attack, because in, in some, uh, in, a, in a certain stage of this, of this deck, we had uh, two of the things that pay five mana uh, get get six in value. Oh Jesus! Did I almost have a goddamn mini heart attack there, right there, boys? Oh gee, gee, Jesus Christ! Jesus! Oh, please don't kill it. Oh, he's not killing it. I have no idea what this card does. Wow! I don't actually even care if I'm being completely honest, right there, lads. Anyway, let's do this and put a 1-1 one, one counter on this. Oh yes, and then we can instantaneously play this. And you know what that means, boys? 
I honestly don't know what that means, so anyone who knows, please raise your hand and help me. AKA, it pretty much just means it's Great Hinge time. Search your library for a card named Heart Piercing Bow. Equip Heart Piercing Bow, deal 1 damage. Wait, does that even uh, matter? No, it does not. Why? Because it's Great Hinge time. Oh, yes. And yes, I'm inst I'm not proccing this because of reasons, trust me. The reason is I just don't want to do it, essentially. That's pretty much it. Okay. And now, even if he does decide to do something naughty to us, he can, you know, anytime just attend them our things. But as you can see, Great Hinge on turn 4. And this happens a lot. This happens a fair bit a lot. So, and considering he's most likely going to try and kill our things... At least I think it's gonna happen. Whenever creature attacks Heart Piercer. Okay. Wait, do I even care for. Wait, does it kill it? It certainly doesn't seem like it kills it. Did I fuck up somehow? Huh? Uh, it doesn't matter. You know what does, on the other hand, matter? And what hap uh, What matters, like, a se severely huge amount? The fact that we're currently not drawing creatures, but only lands. Because we do have a, a ludicrous amount of thingamajigs. So, whenever it enters that, we'll leave range of only controls, deals with damage to... Okay. So, does this matter again some magically how? I am not 100% sure. Okay, I'm not sure at all. I think we win because reasons. I do think we win, boys. Because extensive reasons, but, you know. Something may actually happen that we don't like. He's not gonna attack, is he? Ah, the guy's attacking like there's no tomorrow, but see? This is what I'm saying. Protection sometimes matters a great deal. Wait, do I want to kill that? Search your library named Hot Piercer Bow. Well, I guess it's actually good to kill him? Or no, yes, it's better to kill him, I think. I'm not sure. Again, I'm 100% not sure what the hell is happening. I've never faced a deck like this. Usually when you make a deck like this, you're playing up against similar-ish decks. At the bare minimum. So, yeah. Anyway, we're currently, uh, with every advantage possibly humanly. Oh, of course. Of course. Well, re no, actually, do we want to replace the Great Hinge? I don't think we honestly do. So, any time now, we're gonna start drawing creature cards. And when we do that, it's gonna be magical. Also, boys, if you want to support my work, because... Obviously you should, that's like the best, so that's, that's, that's gonna be the best decision of your life, not gonna lie. What the hell is that now? And there's the, the dark creature opponent. Can I please stop drawing lands game, please? It's like, I know I have lands, but I think it's time to stop. I, I really kind of think it's time to stop drawing lands. Okay, he's playing stuff and a uh, game. He's playing stuff. Please, game. Like seriously. Side note, quotation marks. Literally anything. <sighs> okay, we sacrificed the great hinge, but that's absolutely fine. Should have replayed the great hinge, but hey, I, I, as long as he doesn't kill the great hinge, it's fine. But on the other hand, taking this much goddamn deeps is not fine. Oh, finally, thank god, something that actually does something. Oh, look, and a land. Man, uh, do I feel proud about myself. We drew a land. Stop! Game, please. Okay, eight cards. That's one in three, some magically, how? Okay, do I actually block? Yes, I do block, sadly. I definitely do block. We, we can't take this much damage. 3 damage per turn, it's fine. We're gonna win as long as we draw 2 creatures in a row. Okay, this is honestly as good as it is. Also, when you're playing this deck, you must have this. Otherwise, it will always prioritize the druid before the Great Hinge. And that's honestly annoying. 
But in this case, honestly, it didn't matter, but still. Oh, thank God, finally something's happening. Our draw engine is kicking in. Okay, more great hinges. Honestly, I'm not okay with that many great hinges. But on the other hand, it's not like it matters. Yes, you're gonna hit that. I know, enemy Kun, I know. I don't care about that elf, though. Okay, good. Now we have a chance to live. Oh, what the hell is this? Is, is it gonna kill some? Yes, it does. And a land. Oh no, it's not a land. Oh, that's so amazing. 10 out of 10 would probably... Well, we still draw a land, and that doesn't honestly do anything. Okay, time to replay the Great Henge this time. Honestly, I do feel a little bit bad about this. But, you know, essentially, hey, it's fine. Okay, do I... No, he's only dealing 2 damage, so there's absolutely no reason for me to block, right? Because it doesn't kill anything, okay. Man, this guy is playing a complete MacGuffin deck, not gonna lie. But on the other hand, who honestly cares at this point, right? Do I wanna kill that? No. Just gonna put the... Uh, Ooh, that's spicy. Well, now we definitely win. Honestly, it was just a matter of time before we drew up another land. But I think I think this 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 is the turning point, boys. As you can see, that's a six-five. Like our proliferation usually kinda actually kicks in a lot faster. We just drew up too many lands. Too many lands have been drawn this life, boys. Not gonna lie. What a great time to be alive, though. I haven't seen a deck like this before. It's actually a little bit insane. That's a lot of Heart Piercer bows. Honestly, that's probably like at least five Heart Piercer bows too much. So, he's just gonna kill this. Okay. Okay, enemy con. You need to understand that I am essentially drawing like... Two cards per turn effectively, three cards per turn effectively, well, the minimum, well, it's either one or three cards. Great stuff, great stuff. Well, one or two, because I can draw a creature and then I can draw a land. Can I please stop drawing lands? Okay, game? How about that? How about that crazy stuff? Please, I just want to have a board filled with things like I usually do. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of heart piercer bows. Ah, look at that! It's on a Mongolian! A Heart Piercer bow is used by a Mongolian! That's a composite bow, I don't even know if Mongolians used composite bows, I'm no history expert. But I do recognize a Mongolian when I see one. They attacked my wall. And by my wall, I don't mean my wall, but you know, it's fine. Why are you putting that on that? And man, the cast out, blah blah blah. blah. I completely don't understand what's happening. Not gonna lie, I, I completely just don't. Okay, that's actually not that bad. You see, this thing is also supposed to give plus one one counters, but in this case I'm actually just gonna gain life. There's no reason to not get life. There's no reason to attack also. Well, it's not like he can kill us. Wait, do these things also target? Wait, what's going on? Oh god, is it a meteor golem? It could be a meteor golem, boys. What do I do if- Oh no, it's not a meteor golem. Okay, he really wants to kill me and my fury, but honestly, does that even make a difference? You need to attack one of these- No, you need to distribute the bow attacks equally between these two and whatever. So! A popular thing that now that you boys are saying is like, you stop asking for us to like the video. It's a little bit obnoxious. First of all, welcome to the channel. Second of all, no. Third of all, why do you uh, why do you like your own common ping it and favorite it? Welcome to the channel. That's probably the best response I can give to that. Okay, so, well. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, great. Uh, still more cards that do stuff. Well, on the one on one hand, it's not like exactly he can kill us. On the other hand, I'm currently extremely disappointed in what the hell is goddamn happening. Okay, we have 10 lands. That's a 1 in 3 land draw currently. Which is absolutely insane because I, I don't even know what to say. 
Anyway, that's not a lot of damage. My food is still alive. Oh, look at that. He just put that on the field. No one cares. No one cares, essentially. Okay, so now he has four bows on that guy. Honestly, it's just... Oh, well, it's not the best. Honest to God, it's not the best. Of course, it's a land. I'm not even remotely surprised at this moment in time. I truly am not. Anyway, we're probably gonna put uh, use the protection for this guy because, you know, well, I kind of needed to survive. Does protection even work against that? No, it doesn't. Okay, great stuff. Great stuff. Oh god, enemy con. Wait, does this protect planeswalkers? I never read. Units. A planeswalker is not a unit, so that does not do MacGuffins. Oh, come on, game. Man, this is a this deck is honestly pretty effective at removal, but the question is like, does it matter? No. We just need to like draw five creatures in a row and this guy loses. It's that simple. Okay, well, it's a little bit more here. Mother of God, please. I'm not asking for a lot here. I, I really am not. Or maybe I am? Maybe I'm asking too much for my creatures? It's like we only have seen one Beast Whisperer. Currently it's a 10% chance to draw him. Well, it's above a 10% chance. It's a... T it, it's, you know... It, it's, it's, it's close. It's close to 11. Oh, 10.6666666 repeating. Does it matter? No. Jesus Christ. Please, just two creatures in... Okay, that's an incubation droid. At least it's useful. It's never gonna die to these things because reasons. But yeah. Please, no... Like, oh, shit, boys. Boys. It looks like we're... Stop drawing. Oh, boys. Boys. Look at that. Uh, more not lands. Yes, sir. I really like that. Artifact or enchantment. You know what? I'm actually gonna kill these things because I really dislike them at this point. Not gonna kill this because it seems a little bit unuseful. But yeah, killing those... Oh, boys. Finally. It only took at least 7 trillion years, but it's happening. It's happening and it's happening a lot. I'm gonna protect that Beast Whisper. Okay, now the only problem is that we're relatively close to kind of milling ourselves. But you see, that this is this is why we have those uh, those druid boys. Those druid boys do extremely druidic things. Oh yes. Okay, so now you only have three bows. I honestly don't know how we didn't win again. Well, actually, I honestly do see why this deck could be potentially considered pretty good. Yes, and now I'm gonna use the protection, because this boy needs to survive. Oh yes, he does. You know why? Because he's a good boy. Okay, and now enemy can't, can't exactly do anything. If he attacks, well, he loses out on stuff. Oh, and it's a land. Wow. Colored me surprised, lads. Do I actually... Well, I do this, definitely. Adapt, because we can, at this point. Boom. Wait a minute. Oh, because it only already has. Why do I even try to adapt at these points? Well, I guess it doesn't matter because, you know, we have Vigilance. So, there you have it. Essentially, it doesn't matter. Let's just attack with everything. Oh, I forgot adapt doesn't work because, honestly, we never try to do that. It's, it's kind of... You know, if you're adapting the incubation druid un unironically, probably something has gone wrong in the game. Okay, he's gonna do that. Does he want to kill? No, he's, he's just letting those bad boys hit his face. Okay, okay, enemy kun. Well, you are healing a little bit, and you can theoretically kill some of my stuff. But that, wow, that's pretty desperate. Good game, good game indeed. Oh... I thought it's never gonna end. Okay, that was extremely awkward, but considering we're a creature deck and that guy played... I don't even know what that deck is. And it's not even that bad, honestly. It's not even that bad. bad. Anashiok. Also, if Anashiok ever hits your graveyard, you probably also lose.
Just, just need, just you know, small things, small things. Okay, just take, just checking, just checking stuff out. Okay, so hopefully this is not a flyer's deck. Again, if a flyer's deck just you know has a good start, you just abandon it because it's a complete lost cause. Okay, this seems at least decent. We can play this, and then we can start Autumn Knighting things. Also, Autumn Knights are awesome because they kill enchantments and artifacts, and there's now rarely things that actually do that. So, enemy Kun is a 40. Ah, he's gonna be pretty... Oh, is that Simic? I haven't seen Simic in years. Years, I tell you. It's probably a Risen Reef deck. Only Risen Reef uses tell, uh, these things. Yep, it's it's Risen Reef. Well, now, we're gonna see what's better. His Risen Reef or our MacGuffins? I personally think our MacGuffins are completely gonna demolish this this boy's puss. Okay, fuck you. You got a Risen Reef on extremely curved. Ah, what a champion, boys. Okay, but the good part is we can do this. Boom! Okay, that's actually pretty goddamn good. That's actually really good. Because we can do this now. Boom! Okay, well, a little, a little bit good. Okay, we can also attack with this. So this is not bad. We don't have currently a Great Hinge, which would be playable next turn because Autumn Knight is completely overpowered for Great Hinge summoning. But yeah, let's see what he does. He doesn't have currently... Ah, Thorn's late to end. No one. No one cares, enemy Kun. No one cares about your... Okay, there is a chance that he tries to kill our thing. But yeah, okay, so this is... Okay, so he's ramping up real, real big boy style, lads. He definitely is. So more Autumn Nights, essentially. Okay, we have found the Great Henju. Which means good stuff and, you know, shenanigans are gonna, gonna come your way. Okay, obviously we proliferate, well, we don't proliferate that, but we do this. And now we don't attack, and next turn it's gonna be the Great, great Henge. And then we just need to find a way to boost, uh... Okay, so the thing is, by the way, there is a chance he outscales us if he gets the 4 drop early on. But we're kind of hoping that does not happen. Also, he's going to have a shit ton of Zombles. Okay, that's, that's, that's the thing. That's, that's the only thing I was worried about. Oh, he's going to kill... Oh, boys! He killed the Beast Whisper. That is not the thing you want to kill. Enemy Kun. He's going to mill himself because his deck draws a lot more than mine. But, uh, wait, did he just buff this? Oh god, he's buffing that. Whoa, what a cheapskate. What a cheapskate, the lads. Well, it doesn't matter. The Great Henge doesn't care. Well, the Great Henge does care a little bit, but the Great Henge does not care on average. So, we just magically need to kind of, you know, survive this, play a lot more things than him, and essentially we're gonna call it a day. Okay, so do this. Suddenly, the Great Henge is a-happening. And after the Great Henge hit- Too bad we can't play the Beast Whisperer, but honestly, that's fine. Do I want to play the Looming Shaman or Autumn Knight? Autumn Knight seems like a finish choice in the matter. Okay. So, you don't have counter spells because, well, obviously. Worst case scenario, he has a Chandra. And if Chandra happens, also manly- Okay, can, can someone add this guy to their friends list and tell him that it's fucking idiotic to play goddamn Assassin's Trophy in the Risen Reef deck? Honestly, the only thing you should be playing in the Risen Reef deck is a Risen Reef. Ugh. Damn it. That is actually annoying. Okay, I have a strange feeling this guy is gonna win, because reasons. Or he's gonna mill himself. But yeah, the Great Henge, as you can see, is, well, pretty much mandatory. Do we just surrender? Ooh, that's interesting art. It's pretty goddamn ugly, but that's interesting art nonetheless. 
Okay. Actually, this art's pretty good. It makes absolutely no sense, but... Okay, he's gonna kill the Great Apparition. He has mur- I'm out. Well, it's just better play. I never expect- well, he did get the Risen Reef on Extreme Curve and then he followed up by a Risen Reef. If he did not follow up uh, uh, with those things like that, there was a good chance we'd do it. But he killed our Great Hinge, he essentially- well, it's just the Risen Reef deck. And the Risen Reef decks honestly don't exactly currently work in the meta, they only work against a dis deck like this. That's implying you're a bit more lucky with drawing. When when the dick when the proliferate deck meets the Risen Reef deck, honestly, it's just pretty much a matter of luck. Who wins? No, not not nothing else. Okay, this seems actually not even that bad. Actually, hashtag not even that bad. Well, it actually kinda is, but if we get a great hinge, there is a chance for that layer. Oh, if this is a casual, dude, boys. If this is just a casual green deck, you're so, so, so in the green. It's not gonna even be funny. If this is just a casual green deck, essentially we outdo them every single time. Unless, again, someone just randomly, magically runs something. I have seen an opening like this already today, and the guy also used the goose to attack, which makes absolutely no sense now. But hey. Okay, so do we want to do that, or do we want to do that? Uh, let's do it like this. It honestly doesn't matter, because that's three mon- Oh! Well, it does- Oh no, we have a green mana here, so honestly, it did not matter. Okay, good, 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 okay. So this guy is also currently trying to ramp. Currently, he has six mana, by the way. Oh, it's a food deck. It's a mono-green food deck. Man, this guy's not gonna have a good time. Uh, why do I feel that this guy is absolutely 100% of the time not gonna have a good time? Oh yes. Just, just feels like it, boys. Anyway, next turn we can unbreakable formation, get 1-1s one on this, which means we have 7 mana. 7 mana on this thing means we can play the Great Hinge. Yes, the Great Hinge is always played. Admittedly, this time it's actually not gonna be. Huh? Well, that's that that's 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 questionable for my sanity. But I I well, honestly, we kind of should have expected that. Well, I honestly, we kind of did even expect that. But anyway, we need to do this now. And do I want to cast the Looming Schumann? Uh, there is a chance we don't cast the Looming Schumann. Anyway, since we have Vigilance, we can technically do stuff and MacGuffins now. But we want to be a little bit more technical about things. So the Great, so the great Tree is going to be played. Oh yes, boys! Turn four! What? The fuck is wrong with you? Why am I playing against the most randomest fucking dick clobbering shit in the universe? Just, just someone, someone, explain to me this crap. Why am I? I never see, the, like, these dicks are primary candidates for me to kill with pretty much any other control deck that I ever make. But no, but no, look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna actually get uh, get the unbreakable formation back. It seems good in this situation. Okay, we sadly can't really do that. <laughs> Oof. Okay, we also can't do that. Put three. Son of a fucking bitch. Okay, so the point is, we kind of need to kill this. We kind of can't kill this. If we play this, man, and also looming shaman was the second card we drew. That's so bad. Okay, and this guy now has the ramp. Well, honestly, we also have the ramp. Okay, he just... Oh! Yeah, he taps two of those. Does that even matter? No, he can't attack with the goose, which is the good part. He does that... Wait, how is he getting so much mana? What's your secret? Okay, he just buffed that to Kingdom Come. Okay, this is honestly fine-ish. Is that the best? Yes, that's the best. 
Okay, he can protect that, so that's at least good. Okay, good, 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 good. That's exactly what I want. That land, not even mad, by the way, lads. Not even mad. Oh, second great hit. Now I'm mad. Now, now I'm definitely mad. Okay, let's get back this. And a pot of these. Actually, a, the pad of these your druid can stay right where it is. Okay, that's actually... Well, still not great, but hey, that's life. We need to draw a lot of cards. Okay, that's reasonable-ish, I guess. Okay, that's also reasonable-ish, I guess. Okay, so now we're in front. Technically, our scaling is so much superior to enemy cons. So much superior to enemy cons. The question now only becomes... Yes, yes, yes. Oh, actually, well, he does have good scaling with this bad boy. Okay, more golden geese that you can... Yes, 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 enemy. Congrat... Yes. So, amazing. Amazing. How am I playing up against the... I love, I, I love the system so much. Again, a deck like this just seems like complete food for the average deck I do. But you know, it's not currently. You're not gonna attack with the goose? Okay, that's fine. Okay, so what's the plan? We played this, obviously, that's the plan. Now we do this. And we're gonna obviously attack everything in that planeswalker like there is absolutely no tomorrow. Let's see, is there actually any artifact or enchantment I can kill? No, no. The, bir the bird's magically somehow not exactly an artifact or enchantment. Don't know why, but it's just not. It is definitely just not. Okay, so now getting in the Johnny would not even be that bad. Okay, hello. Well, a night packed ambusher is not exactly. Stop giving me the hinges, though. Stop giving me the hinges. Okay. Well, we have lands, and we're technically still outscaling this. Okay, that's actually not that bad, even. Because proliferation means successful monetization? That did not make a lot of sense. Oops, I, almost, I kind of fucked up my own rule, but it's honestly fine. Okay, do I want to drop that? No, we want we want to be able to play that. Okay, so we're attacking with everything and we're attacking that thing. Yes, yes. Actually, no, we want the... Ad no! Oh, shit. We just could have addendum them, and that would have been honestly the end of the story. Oh, that is so painful. Misplays. He probably expected that, though. Not gonna lie. Still, it should be fine, right? Yeah, he's just gonna try to exchange everything as much as he can without losing shit. But the point is, you're playing up against me. And you're playing up against me. Expect at least minor emotional traumas. Okay. Right. The only good part is we have so many... Ah... Uh, Ah, uh, wait, <laughs> what? Oh, he just wants me to target that, and the goose is cooked. Ah, uh, wait. You're just sacrificing... Oh, because you want it dead. Yeah, that's fine. Addendum, boys! Well, there's no addendum in, on this one, but st still, honestly, it's absolutely fine. Okay, that was not the most anything, anything ever. Okay, so how do we... Get past the golden geese problem. There's honestly so little we can do. And also, the night pack ambusher does seem a little bit a lot redundant in this guy's arsenal. So, there you also have it. And the moment we get our Johnny, Fury of the Pride, we're gonna just win because reasons. Okay. Trample, creatures, blah blah blah, plus 10 gain, trample until end of the turn. This is gonna be a problem though. So, we need to, we, we need to get ready, lads. Okay, he's dropping more, more blockers. What a champion, okay, he dropped too many blockers. What a champion, I think we're gonna lose to the Vivian emblem. Oof, life is, life is painful. Man, we should've, man. I fucked up so hard with not using the addendum there. Ah. 
Oof. I forgot, I instantaneously forgot it grants vigilance. And now he just luckily dropped pretty much the perfect everything, so there you have it. Admittedly, why did you just do that? No question. Well, death touch, I guess, is a good reason. Okay, so we can't really do too much here now. Okay, draw a card. Chances are we can't exactly get... Oh, yes, now that it's far, far, far too late. Your you, game, you're just gonna grant me it on a silver platter, huh? Well, I guess that's fine. Honestly, it kind of is fine. Okay. So, the thing is, let's see. How do I do this? Well, I just take everything and ram it into his face and see what magically happens. He has only one goose that can block. And my things now have vigilance because of the Ajani's, but honestly, game, a little bit one turn too fucking late, not gonna lie. You can't block everything. I think he can block. Yes, he can block everything, so it's absolutely perfect. Oh, he's trying to get as many things. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh, he's not even trying to block anything anymore. Oh, boy. Owie, owie, owie. That's, yeah, the proliferation starts here, lads. The proliferation starts here. No, your gooses no longer can hold back my spirits. That sounds so fucking retarded. That's not even funny. Okay, but as you can see, well, it took a while, but yeah, you, you see how this deck works. It's pretty fine. It's pretty fine. It's pretty chill. The only bad part is you need four great henges to get uh, to maximize that possibility of a turn four great henge play. You know. But then again, you can draw those great... Wait, what? Well, honestly, enemy, con that does not do a lot because you lose. You lose so hard that... Kind of funny. Because I'm just gonna double a Johnny again. But I would have, you know, loved to have the Johnny a little bit earlier on. But honestly, I'm not even mad. I'm just theoretically extremely mad. But yeah. Ah, oh, Vigilance. No, seriously. The Johnny's Vigilance in decks like this is beyond amazing how much impact that honestly creates. This guy is just dead. Look at this. Yeah, he understands it. There's nothing he can do. And he probably thinks that we're dropping more creatures, even though we honestly have been pretty unlucky with the creature drop rate, but hey. Absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Anyway, boys, this is the proliferate deck. It's pretty good. It's pretty... well, it's pretty everything, everything. And it has a bunch of bright sides, and pretty much very little downsides, except losing two flyer decks. But honestly, in this day and age, how many people run flyer decks? A lot. The answer is a lot. But anyway, yeah. So this is Quizzer since then. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my channel. Check out the Discord. Check out the Patreons. And check out the Etherhub. And check out pretty much everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.